welcome back all so all that has all that we need to do now is take a look is actually set up a proxy server configure it have our Ubuntu machine connected a proxy server and then we're gonna pass some rules to that Ubuntu machine we're gonna deny it the access to a Facebook page so that it cannot go to Facebook so let's say that Marta on Ubuntu system who is working in office who is using Ubuntu will not be allowed to access Facebook during her working hours. Uh, this is a very common practice. Now let's go about doing this. First thing that we're going to need to do is a log into log back into our uh, proxy server. So SSH. Excellent. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. Now we need to do yum install uh, squid. I already have it installed, sorry. I need to be root for this. Yum install squid. And there we go. It's already installed, but I've just shown you the command how you can actually install it. And we'll need a text editor on this minimal install. So yum install nano. I prefer to use vi, but some people find it complicated. So I'm just going to go, go ahead and stick with nano, even though vi or vim, which I really prefer, is far superior and more powerful. So go ahead and install these two. Clear the screen. Now go ahead and enter. Uh, Let's just check the status of status of squid. So system CTL status squid. It's running on my system during my trial runs, during my test runs. So I'm just gonna stop it. And now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna type in. Well, let's clear the screen first. Uh, nano slash Etsy slash squid slash squid dot conf and we're gonna scroll down where it says insert your own rules where it says here insert your own rules so I have already inserted two rules and I have applied them I have I have created two access lists and I have a rule down there so uh, this access list it has a name of no go you can name it however you want you can basically oh sorry you can name it any way you like so for example this can be the name if you want it to be. I've just given it no go, as in you cannot go to this domain. And I have specified the parameter, I have stated that this will be, is a destination domain, uh, so dot facebook.com. And down below, I have created an access list that states office and that with a source IP address of 192.168.1.5, that is the IP address of our Ubuntu machine. And down below, I have stated that HTTP access shall be denied to Office, so this name here, so to Office, and it will not be able to go to NoGo, which NoGo is here. So it will not be able to access Facebook.com. Go ahead and write what I have written here. Press Control O to save, enter, press Control X to exit, type in system CTL. Uh, start squid in order to start it I do believe uh, it's running now uh, status yep it is running excellent so this is a very basic example of access lists oops I forgot one more thing this is a very basic access uh, example of access control lists access control lists are a subject in and of themselves but I just want to show you an example of how it works the idea of this tutorial is to show you how you can monitor traffic as opposed to how you can control it but if you are interested in learning more about access lists or uh, or stop well squid in, or squid proxy in general you can feel free to write to me and if there's enough interest I can create separate tutorials for that as well uh, let's go ahead and clear the screen and now we're gonna punch a hole in the firewall so let's see if I actually have the rule here I ah, forget about it I'm just gonna write it IP tables so you can type this command as I type it so insert into input I'm gonna first line protocol TCP uh, dash dash deep the port destination port 3128 
and we're gonna go ahead and say dash j except press enter there we go now all we need to well yeah that's pretty much it we can do ip tables dash l get a listing input I've just cleared the screen so you can see it better. I'm just going to repeat the command here. And it says, except, oh wait, I have two of those rules. One of them remained during the testing phases, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really make a difference. So accept TCP from any source to any destination. And the protocol is TCP. Destination port is 3128, which is the port for squid. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. Now we have all pretty much set up on our on our proxy server. Let's go over to our Ubuntu machine. Come on. Okay, this is my these are my test runs. Go ahead and click on system settings. Go into network. Go into network proxy. Type in the IP address of your proxy server type in this port and please fill each field with this then click on apply system wide type in the admin password that's all you need to do there and then fire up firefox okay so give it some time to run uh, the it's a single core processor so you can see that i can access webs uh, google just fine and if i type in hello dot i don't know hello can see that this is going to run or if I type in YouTube this is also going to run and if I type in Facebook Nope, it says the proxy server is refusing connection, so I am no longer allowed to visit facebook.com. But, you know, hey, uh, maybe I don't want my employees to access youtube.com as well either. So we can go ahead and. Uh, do I have the nano? Yep. We can go ahead and forbid that as well. You need to. You will need to restart the squid proxy in order to make this happen. Uh, no go destination.facebook.com and I'm going to type in .youtube.com I'm going to save this file control x to exit control o to save control x to exit I'm going to type in systemctl restart squid oh, I've typed this marvelously squid Excellent, so it has restarted. Let's go back to our Ubuntu machine. Remember, we could access YouTube before, no problem. So, YouTube. Ah, it says proxy server is refusing connection. So, this is one of the ways in which you can actually control the employees in an environment. But here's a more interesting thing here's how you can actually monitor the traffic. So remember, this is just an example of one machine being hooked up to the proxy. You could have thousands of machines that are hooked up to the proxy. But uh, here's the interesting part that comes along our way. So whether you apply any rules or not, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can go and do this. Mm, CD clear tail dash f space var law log squid access log press enter and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this to a more reasonable size excellent so it says uh, who has accessed what and what has been denied so it says that 192.168.1.5 uh, which is our Ubuntu machine TCP denied connect to www.youtube.com hmm so it has denied access to this domain but we can uh, go ahead and say try again and you can see that the entry has been logged down there try again entry has been logged try 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 the entries have been logged we can also type in I don't know uh, 
linux.org and we can try to access linux.org and I'm just gonna wait for this to happen and you can see that this is being logged down there you can clearly see that this is being logged that the, it's being generated that the traffic is being logged down there so remember we're doing this all of this from an administrator machine we're not doing this from a uh, this from a squid proxy we're just logged in via SSH into it and we're getting all of this so you can see all the information who is accessing what so you have an IP address here and you can have various IP addresses on the network and you will know exactly who wanted to access what and who loaded what down to the tiniest letter you will know everything the good thing about this file is that this is a permanent file so if I stop this it doesn't matter the file just keeps getting filled up and up you can if I do cat uh, var log squid access it's still there so this log file you know this is something that you can come back in the morning check it out scroll through it and see if anybody has been attempting to access any unauthorized sites such as this you can you can actually do this so clear you want to cut out the log and you're interested if anybody actually tried to access Facebook so Facebook sorry pipe grep dash I Facebook hey guess what we've just uh, filtered out uh, all the people who have tried to access Facebook or you can type in dash I YouTube hey there are some people who have tried to access YouTube even though I'm denying it so if you see a single IP address that is continuously attempting to access something that has been denied of course you as an administrator will give them that unpolite call <laughs> well unpleasant call not unpolite be always polite always be polite and say hey uh, clearly you didn't get the message but you're not al actually allowed to access this server so please uh, stop attempting that would be very nice thank you you're just filling up the logs for no reason anyway that would be it I hope that this chapter has been of some use to you uh, if you have any questions please feel free to pose them me or somebody else will take care of, will take care of them and we'll provide you with clear answers to help you out along your merry way. So I bid you all farewell.